And you know, you see them all over downtown valet parking zones in front of hotels and restaurants. A News Channel 5 investigation first revealed the city was not collecting what it should from valet operators. Our investigative reporter Ben Hall discovered the city was leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table. Now, as Ben tells us, Metro wants to change that. As downtown Nashville gets busy again, parking is an issue. As we reported before the pandemic, when a meter is removed to put in a valet zone, hotels were easily replacing city parking meters with private valet zones. Valet operators might charge $40 or more per vehicle, but incredibly Metro charged just $50 a year for a valet operator to get a permit. A lot of people have been comfortable with that regime of, oh, $50 a year, give me like six spaces, right? Councilman Freddie O'Connell recognized it was time to update the $50 charge for a valet zone downtown. We've just kind of let some things go for decades without review, without like indexing some of these fees to how we grow. But our investigation showed the city was not following its own law because it never charged valet operators for the money the city lost when a parking meter was removed. We found one meter could generate as much as $6,000 a year for the city. For example, this photo shows that metered parking was available on 4th Avenue in 2016, but at least five of these meters have now been replaced with valet zones for three new boutique hotels. And all those meters could have brought in more than $30,000 a year for the city. But with those meters removed for valet stands, Metro only got $150. Are you collecting lost revenue from any of these parking meters and valet zones? No. Diane Marshall with Metro Public Works oversaw the valet parking permits and admitted in 2019 Metro never considered the law meant it should force valet operators to pay for lost revenue when a meter was removed. Are you worried the city's leaving a lot of money on the table? Based on interpretation, it would seem that we are leaving money on the table. When you go home and see your story on television, it, it was absolutely a factor in the overall conversation. O'Connell chaired a committee that has come up with a new formula to charge more for valet permits, including lost revenue from parking meters. According to the new valet fee policy, a Midtown hotel with a two-space valet stand would pay more than $3,700 a year. A downtown restaurant with seven spaces that operates noon to midnight would now pay more than $19,000. Literally the value of every inch of curb on our public rights of way has increased in value and we weren't capturing that. So in that sense, it is a big deal. It means more money going into Metro's budget, funded primarily by the tourists who are once again flocking downtown. McConnell says hotels and restaurants ask that the new fees not go into effect immediately since they're coming out of a pandemic. He says the plan is for them to be in place in July of next year. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates. Thank you, Ben. And if you want to watch Ben's previous reports on this investigation, head to our website or you can download News Channel 5 Nashville on any major streaming platform.